this lesson is going to be for uh, anybody that is wanting to learn the piano and knows absolutely nothing about the piano. So if you have already taken a few lessons, uh, I mean, stick around. There might be something that, that you may learn. But I'm going to go over the very, very basics of the piano um, and show you a couple of exercises to do to start to get your hands to move. We're not going to play any songs today, uh, but I'm going to at least get your hands moving because we need to build up strength, uh, accuracy, and speed in our fingers. Um, so let's start with the very, very basics. What we have here is we have our white keys. And then we have our black keys. Now, if you notice, we have a pattern. This one black key down here is all by itself. Ignore that right now. We have a set of two black keys, three. A set of two, a set of three. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. What I have all my students do at first is I have them play every set of two black keys. Just like that. We're using our, our two fingers right here. And you're just playing those two black keys. The next step would be play the set of three. The piano is just a pattern. So once we learn the keys from one set of two black keys to the next, we know all the keys. The only difference is how they sound. Um, what we're going to start with is um, we're going to look for our two black keys. And if we go down one white key, we have a C. So our music alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then we start all the way over. We go back to A. There's no H. Uh, on the piano, a starting point for the piano is C. We're not going to start on A. We're actually going to start on C. So we go C, D, E, F. G, A, B, C. And then we keep going up. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So what we're going to do is we're going to play every single C that we can find. The easiest way to find C is, again, we look for these two black keys, come down to that white key, and there's a C. So let's start at the bottom. We're going to play a C. Find your next one. Going up and find every C on the piano. And then this very last key is also a C. The camera's kind of cut off there, but that's also a C. All right, so now we know where C is. Let's go up one more in the middle of the two black keys. We have a D, right? So we look for two black keys, go right in the middle. There is a D. Let's play all those Ds. Okay, A, B, C, D, E. Two black keys on the other side now is E. We're going to play all the E's. Again, look for the black keys to help you out. All right, so now we got C, D, and E. The next one up is F, which is right next to the three black keys. Here's my set of three. All right, there's F. Look for the next set of three. F. F. All right, now the next one up, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So again, three black keys, second note in. Do the same thing, play all the Gs. I don't care what finger you use, just play all the Gs. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, remember what I said, we don't go to H. We go to A. So, again, three black keys. Here's our A. Let's find all the A's. Uh, fun fact for you, the very first key on the piano is an A. 
All right, now, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Other side of the three black keys. B. Okay, and then remember I said our first one here was A, the next one is B. All right, so we have our C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And that just repeats all the way up and down the keyboard. One very important note that you want to know where it is is called middle C. Middle C is right here. Okay, if you're on a full-size piano or keyboard, which is 88 keys, that's white and black keys, it is the fourth set of two black keys that you have. Find the fourth set. One, two, three, four. There's middle C. What you can also do if you're on a smaller keyboard, um, you can look for the brand name of the keyboard. If it's Casio, Yamaha, Roland, Korg, uh, kind of look up for that around this area in the middle of the keyboard. Look straight down for two black keys and you'll have middle C. Not all keyboards have 88 keys. All right, so we got all, all of our notes. One very important thing we need to know also is finger numbers. So every finger has a number. Our thumbs are number one. And then just go in order. Two, three, four, and pinkies are five. So one, two, three, four, and five. What we're going to do to start is we're going to take our right hand and we're going to put our thumb on middle C. Remember, one, two, three, four, uh, the fourth set of two black keys. We have middle C. Put our thumb there and then put every finger next to it. So our thumb is one, two, three, four, five. Now, you don't want your fingers flat on the keys. A camera angle is kind of weird to, to show you this, but if you kind of just hold your wrist out, your hand kind of natu naturally curves, right? That's how you kind of want your hand to be on the keys. Um, you Also, when you're sitting at the piano, you don't want to be slouching. You want to be sitting up straight. Um, so, yeah, you kind of have a little curve underneath your hand. And we have, our again, our thumb, which is number one on middle C. And then we go two, three four, five. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our left hand and we're going to put our pinky on the C, which is the first C before middle C. So that is one, two, the third set of two black keys. I'm going to go ahead and put my pinky on that C, my fifth finger, in my left hand. So now we have five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to put my right hand back on middle. So you want to keep both hands on there. So in both hands, we have our C, D, E, F, and G. So what I want you to start with is in the right hand, we're going to play one, two, three, four, and five. C, D, E, F, G. Now what you don't want to do, if you notice they kind of paused in between, what you don't want to do is you don't want to do this. A lot of people have a tendency to do that when they first start. Make sure you really let go of that key before you move on to the next one. What you're doing here, go nice and slow, is you're building up control really in your fingers. You want to get control of these fingers. Eventually we'll slowly build up speed. Same thing in our left hand. We're going to start with our pinky though. Now you're going to notice our fifth finger, our pinky, and our ring finger are the two weakest ones that we have, uh, especially in our left hand. So we're going to start five, let go, four, which is on D, let go, three, on E, let go, two, 
Hand is on F, let go. Thumb on G, let go. Make sure you're really pressing down on the keys too. That's going to help you build up strength in your fingers. So you don't want to hit it to the point where we can barely hear it. Really hit those keys. Again, you're building up strength and getting control of your fingers. I can't emphasize how important it is to, to really go slow on these. Oh, we want to do both hands together too. Uh, it's five in the left hand, one in the right. So they're different fingers, same notes. But I can't emphasize how important it is to go slow. Um, if we try to go fast, you're going to learn bad habits. It's going to take you longer, especially in the long run, to learn songs. Okay, do that a few times. Control, strength, and accuracy in our fingers. Now we're going to go down. My first finger in the left hand, my fifth in the right, which is G's in both hands. And if you notice, they're both right. They're both next to those three black keys, second one in. And we're going to go five, or a G, F, E, D, C. Do that a few times. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to keep our hands here. We're going to go up, straight back down, back up, as time goes on. Start slow. Take your time. Um, okay, so we went over our white keys, our black keys. We went over what letters these are, right? C is, if you know where C is, you can find any other key. We know where middle C is. We know our finger numbers. Um, and now we know where our hands go. This is called C position. When we have our right hand thumb on middle C and our left hand pinky on the C before that, that's called C position. That's a, a hand position that we will start out with a lot uh, when we first start learning the piano. Um, so your first step, build up stability with your fingers, right? And again, when we do this, we don't want that, right? One at a time. Take your time, go slow. Uh, there are a lot of videos out there that can teach you how to play. I see a lot of ads online. Teach you how to play piano in, in 30 days. If you really want to learn how to play the piano, this is where you need to start. Um, so do that, do that, um, you know, I would say, do your right hand by itself. Do your left hand by itself. Do that like five times each and then try them together five times each. Then your next step would be increase the speed a little bit. We'll talk about a metronome. Uh, we can use metronomes or drum beats, whatever. Uh, and we'll get that in sync with a metronome. Uh, but that is your first step, uh, and then we will continue on. I'll show you, again, more exercises how to increase speed and accuracy and finger strength, uh, and we'll also do some actual lessons where uh, you can start playing some songs and reading notes, too. Let me know if you have any questions.